Hi there, I'm Craig Dennison and glad that you're with us today on FlyFishingChronicles.com. Today we're going to tie a tiger foam beetle, which is a great terrestrial pattern out of the Blue Ribbon Fly Shop in West Yellowstone, Montana, attributed to Craig Matthews and, and company um, as are most of the materials we're using to tie it. We'll let the camera get a little bit closer as we tie this wonderful um, beetle pattern high-vis beetle pattern that you can fish from June through October. And that's what the final result looks like. Take, it should take us five, six, seven minutes to tie one. Uh, for materials, I like to use uh, Dairiki hooks, size uh, 12, 14, 16. 14 is a good standard large hook that you can use. I um, debarb all my hooks at the vise. Uh, tiger strips that Blue Ribbon Fly sells. They sell these in this wonderful chartreuse and also kind of a fluorescent orange. Both are high vis. Great, great product. And for uh, dubbing, we'll use an uh, Zelon dubbing, the tiger, be tiger beetle that they sell. And finally, we'll put in some nice spandex legs, nice stretchy black legs, thick legs. They go great on this pattern. So I'm going to put my size 14 dry fly hook. Dairiki into the vise, my trusty Renzetti, which I love. So that's in. We've got some 6 hot thread. Start right behind the eye and just kind of wrap a nice tight underbody. There we go. So I've got my thread. We're basically, it's, it's hanging over where the barb would be. To tie this in, I like to put a little triangle in this. Just a little triangle and so you get almost like a point on this and it just ties in a little bit better. Take that and wrap back a little bit. Make sure you really secure that well and it doesn't hurt to kind of look on it. Now that doesn't, I don't like the way that's laying yet so I'm going to wrap a little bit more. There, that's a nice even the way it pulls back. Next, take your dubbing. It's always easier to put on less dubbing than more, but and I don't use wax when I when I dub. That's just me. Alright, I've got a clump of dubbing. I'm gonna tease it out a little bit, lengthen it, kinda just to make sure we get it goes on a little bit easier. And then just nice tight spiral wraps, same direction. Really nice and tight. This is good stuff, this mixed Zelon dubbing. It's got kind of little, it's all black, but it's got some little coppery flash flex in it. Imitates that nice underneath body of an in, a beetle. And I'm wrapping tight. Now I could use the my um, rotary portion for this. This underbody, I'm not quite as concerned about proportions and and how perfect it is because I'll put a nice more tapered oval after this. There we go. Build a nice base in that body. Alright, let's do one more clump. One more clump should probably wrap it up nicely. This is a nice Zelon dubbing. We've got a couple little pieces here. Again, tease that out. Makes it go a little bit easier. If you're a novice and you like to use dubbing um, wax, there's no problem with that. It might stick a little bit better. I'm just to me, it's just one more step, and I can usually have enough hand strength and comfort just to put it on there pretty well. All right, now I'm looking for a little more oval taper on this this beetle. I want a nice kind of a corpulent body. Maybe it'll get a little bit better fish. Who knows? doesn't hurt. All right, so I've got my body. It's kind of shaggy. That's all right. You want to trim it a little bit? You can, but I like those little guard hairs sticking up. Now, I'm going to take about a, a three-inch, four-inch stretch of spandex, and I'm going to just cut it right down the middle, and then I'll take another stretch of spandex and cut it. Actually, I want it to have about inch long per piece. So I've got three pieces of spandex. I've lined up together, so three pieces. Doesn't matter the length, you know, inch, inch and a half, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to lay that. Right, pinch it and then lay it right 
on the side of that fly. Oh, that's not pinching it right. There we go. So that those fibers are all kind of coming off the side right now on that far side. I'm going to take the ones I haven't tied down. I'll tie those in a little bit. Bring them back and bind them down. Nice thing about rubber uh, spandex is you can really you can pull those back. You can tweet tease them if you don't like the way they sit. Well, retie them. You know, put them in the way you want them. All right. So I've got right now I've got six legs, buggy looking legs in there. Next, I'm just going to pull all those legs back and I'm going to pull my foam, this carapace or the body, just pull it right across. And I keep it a little bit tight and I'm just going to do a nice tight wrap there. One, two, three, four. Now you could, well I like to put a little bit more of a head on that and so I'm going to pull it just a little bit like so to help give me that head and I trim that. Now we're getting close to being done. This is again. I said this is a quick tie. Whip finish that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, whip finish that. Make sure you. I'm gonna do two kind of last steps. I'm gonna doctor that. I like to put. It's kind of angular. It's a little sharp in the head. So I'm gonna trim that there and trim it here and it just gives it a little more buggy round looking head next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take those six legs that I, those six spandex legs which I've kept nice and long I'm just going to hold them all the same hold them all the same and I'm just going to do a nice trim across there so I've got now I've got nice short stubby legs and you've got you know they're all different a little different length and that's okay You've got a great tiger beetle. Good luck and splat that down and on your favorite trout stream and hold on.